Stephen and Joanne coming to you from Music Town in downtown Detroit. We're only a few feet away from Little Caesars Arena where there's a big show tonight. Yeah, there is. Uh, Hall and Oates and Train playing tonight at Little Caesars Arena. We've been telling you for the last hour. We have John Oates in studio with us right now to talk about the big show. John, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, it's great. Can't wait for tonight. Can't wait to play Detroit. What a difference you've seen in the city through the years, Amazing, John. and I've noticed it. Um, you know, that's one thing, you know, when you come through about every year on tour, you get a chance to see cities and how they evolve or devolve, as the case might be. Yeah. But, boy, Detroit's on an upswing, and that's really good to see. So tell us about the show tonight. What, what will fans expect to get here? Well, it's a pretty great musical show in terms of the fact that we've got this great gal named Candace Springs opening, and uh, then we have Train, who are our co-headliners, and they're amazing. Uh, you know, I think they, they represent, like, the next generation of pop music after Daryl and I. Uh, and uh, Pat Monahan is a fantastic singer. The band is great. And then uh, we do our thing, and our thing is what we do, you know? And uh, <laughs> people uh, seem to, after all these years, these songs still resonate. We have a younger audience that's, that's developed over the years. And we play, uh, we play the big hits. We play a couple surprises, and we bring Pat out, and we do do a couple things together. Um, so it's a really cool show. That's kind of neat when artists do this, you know, like yeah. he does or Train does their thing, mm-hmm. and then you guys do yours, and then you do stuff together, including yeah. a new single you've recorded. Yeah, that's right. We have a new single called Philly Forget Me Not, which and Pat, believe it or not, is from Pennsylvania. So okay. we, it's kind of this uh, Pennsylvania connection here going on. And uh, so yeah, it's cool to have a song out to promote the tour, and it's um, yeah. It's going to be fun. Cool stuff. Hey, we're going to talk more about some of the uh, the, the Hall & Oates stuff, but I'm always interested as a songwriter in, in John Oates, the songwriter himself, and the stuff you're doing this day, uh, these days. And you've kind of gotten into Americana. Uh, mm-hmm. Arkansas, for instance. Uh, we just heard Arkansas. Tell us about that. Well, you know, for me, getting back to this Americana roots blues music is really a return to where I was at before I met Daryl Hall. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I started playing guitar at six years old. So I've been, you know, when I met Daryl, I was already playing for over 10 years. I was playing folk blues, Delta blues, things like that. And then, of course, when we got together, you know, we combined all our influences and it became this collaborative thing that, that went on in, in a pop direction. But uh, moving to Nashville, about uh, 10 12 years ago and being embraced by the Americana community enabled me to kind of revisit this stuff and and all of a sudden rediscover a thing in myself that had been kind of pushed aside and buried for years and years and years so it's really been exciting for me and um, very comfortable for me to do because it's like I said it's like going back to my youth would you like to do another another um, solo one? You think? I will do something, and I don't know what that's yeah. going to be. Uh, right now, uh, Arkansas is happening, and uh, it's getting a great response everywhere. I've been touring a little bit with it, and I'll be doing it again in the fall and then going to Europe. Uh, it's um, There's like a big Americana uh, thing going on in Northern Europe, UK and Northern Europe. So uh, the record has gotten a great response over there, so I'll go over there and play a couple shows as well. That's Let's wonderful. rewind. Out of Touch. Yeah. This was uh, uh, your last number one single, putting an end to a a remarkable streak of, I think, 14 or 15 uh, top 40 hits. Um, And then you became what you're doing now, is playing what the people want to hear, except for now, Mm -hmm. another number one maybe down the road in Forget Me Not. (laughs) One never knows. So the streak may not be over, but talk about specifically Out of Touch. What was that about? Well, Out of Touch came about in a really unique way. It was um, the mid-'80s was a really unique time in recording. It was kind of the end of the analog era uh, and the beginning of the digital era in terms of recording tech technology. And uh, I had just gotten this thing at home, which was a little uh, recording device that could you could overdub, you could put multiple tracks. Now, that seems you know antiquated and archaic. Yeah, garage band nowadays. Right, right, right today. Yeah. You can do zillions of tracks. But in those days, it was a, it was a pretty hot setup. And I had a synthesizer. And I was messing around at home, literally messing around, uh, just trying out the stuff, seeing what it would do. I hit a button on a synthesizer. There was a sound that was like a wood block. And it went, donk, 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 like that. Does that sound kind of like the record? Anyway, <laughs> um, it, it made that sound, and I started playing a melody. And I went, donk, 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 donk. And I said, oh, that's cool. And um, so I recorded it, and I began to sing. I played some guitar, and I came up with this chorus. Um, and I thought... Uh, you know, maybe it would be good for another artist. I didn't know what it was. And at the time, we were working with a guy named Arthur Baker on an album called Big Bamboom, which was mm-hmm. um, the last album we made in the 80s. And um, Arthur said, no, man, that's a fantastic, that's a great hook. You and Daryl ought to work that up. And I got with Daryl. He and I wrote the verse together. There you go. Fantastic. All right, let's Isn't listen to it. All right. Out of touch. <laughs> 